You know, it is so weird to me that a Dreamcast version is in development. The Sega Dreamcast came out like around 98 or 99. And I think it lasted like around 2000 or something like that. But it did have some good exclusive titles for the original launch. It's unfortunate that Sega couldn't even keep going with the console. So this one is a bit weird that they're coming out with the Dreamcast version. Knowing that Sega doesn't even do consoles anymore. Which is kind of weird and out of place to be honest with you. But I'm willing to see what they can do. Because the Sega Dreamcast... They don't really exist anymore. Well, in my eyes, though. But this is just crazy. So let's get to it. TMNT Kawabunga Collection surprised everybody when it was announced, to say the least. It is a collection of 13 TMNT games that were developed by Konami between 89 and 93. For any one of us who grew up watching TMNT and reading the comics, this was a very pleasant surprise. The games in the collection were developed for various platforms such as NES, Game Boy, Sega Genesis, Arcade, Cabinets, Don't Forget Super Nintendo. The Cowboy Bucket Collection complies all of these in one nifty package for PC, current and previous generation consoles for all old and new audiences to enjoy. The developer of the collection, Digital Escape, is not new to this sort of thing. They have done some amazing work with other retro collections as well, such as Mega Man Legacy Collection, the Disney Afternoon Collection, and the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, among others. Now, the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, I have some big, iffy, and issues with because in 2018 I tried to play the game but I couldn't even pick one character all I was doing was just just clicking on one game and just watching the game play itself instead of just like me playing the game you know like that was the biggest L on Capcom's part in my honest opinion so hopefully this anniversary that that's going to be coming out this year or in 2023 can just redeem itself and allows players to play characters and play the game instead of just like downloading the full content because that don't make no sense since the guy was telling me at the GameStop like a long time ago. The team and team Cowabunga collection as safe states, rewind functions, button mapping, as well as online capabilities in certain games in local co-op and all games where it was originally intended. It also features an in-game museum that offers previous unseen development art, sketches, and game designs for the titles throughout the years. So that's basically what it's telling us. So to me, I already see it in myself. I think Tom the Boys is one of my favorite artists who did the work on the Konami titles. I mean, on the Konami titles like the Contra series, the Ninja Turtles series, among others. Like, he's one of the reasons why I love doing what I'm doing because of his techniques. So, almost every game includes both the Western and Japanese versions and all these nifty additions for modern consoles and audiences make the collection even more appealing. Now, an independent developer is working on bringing the collection to the Sega Dreamcast, as pointed out by Dreamcast Hub. So this is what he actually tweeted. This is from the uh, Dreamcast Hub. I never, like I said, I never thought of them doing a Sega Dreamcast versions, especially in considering that Sega backed out of the console era back then. So. I don't know how I feel about it though because it just seemed kind of weird that they would do a Sega Dreamcast version knowing that the Sega Dreamcast doesn't exist anymore in stores. So I don't understand this part. To say that Ian or Land Michael is a fan of the Sega Dreamcast would be an understatement. 
judging by his YouTube channel, this is not his first attempt at bringing a game to Dreamcast. His channel is filled with successful attempts to port games over the console. So he definitely has plenty of experience. Okay. In the about section of the channel, Ian states, I have been a homebrew DC quarter since 2002. So no doubt remains he has the skill. However, many are doubtful if this is possible in the comments of Dreamcast Hub tweets. One user writes, hmm, the DC isn't capable of running all of those games without cutting corners and fitting all of the extras the collection has to offer on a CD-ROM could become quite a platform. Surely doubtable, but not without a lot of limitations and compromises and thus rather unnecessary. That was a bit tough to read because I don't like reading people's quotes. So, you know, I don't like reading it so much though, but yeah. However, according to the video and updates, Lane has posted, progress is being made smoothly on bringing Team NT Cowabunga collection on the Sega Dreamcast. No doubt Lane has taken on a minor mental task, but the developer is surely equipped for it with not only expensive, I mean extensive experience, but also the necessary skills they have acquired over the long period of time of passion and dedication to the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast was a beloved console with a very short life. It was actually the very first sixth generation console and preceded PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. It was severely overwhelmed by the PS2 and after the leadership change in Sega, the Dreamcast was discontinued in a one. However, it was considered ahead of its time as can be exemplified by the fact that the Sega Dreamcast was the first console to include a built-in modem remote, whatever you call this thing, modem for the internet access and online play. It has developed quite a cult following with it being very popular in the Sunburro scenes to this day. Like I say, I find it kind of weird for them to, or this person on YouTube is trying so hard to bring it to the second Dreamcast. I'm not saying that he can't do it, but it's possible. Not unless Sega has something to say about it though, but I don't know. I'm just a little mixed on this whole thing. What y'all thoughts about this? Let me know in the comments down below. And then I'm going to do my other video.